All right, guys, so I'm looking to upgrade these default green RAM sticks that come with the computer. So these are the Samsung brand and they're running at 5,600 mega transfers. And there was an update to the BIOS to increase the speed from 4,800, which was a annoyance I had when I did the full review. So I bought the Dominator Platinum RGB RAM. I'm not sure if it's compatible, but we're gonna find out. All right, so you can see it's showing the CL at 46. So it's 46, 45, 45, 89. And again, it's the Samsung RAM, um, 5,600 uh, mega transfers. And the Corsair Dominator Platinum, these are supposed to be CL36. So I'm gonna pop these in and see what happens. All right, first thing, I've disconnected the power from the computer and I'm just gonna remove the two Samsung RAM sticks. So we're just gonna hit these two little clips here. All right, so the Samsung RAM stick is removed and this is what's going in right now. So the Dominator Platinum, and you can see there's a pretty massive size difference and thickness between the two obviously because the dominators have RGB on them. So the RAM sticks can only go in one way so make sure you don't force it and I'm gonna put these back into slots two and four which is where the originals were. So I'm just gonna put that, line it up and then just press down until you hear that satisfying click. So that's the first slot in, second stick. All right, the two Dominator sticks are in there, slots two and four. So I'm just gonna close everything back up, power it on and hope for the best. All right guys, so first boot was successful. That was really quick, didn't take too much longer than it normally does. All right, so I have CPU-Z open and you can see these are the clocks we're getting right now. And the speed is at 4800 and that's because I didn't go into the BIOS and enable XMP, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna go into more settings so we can take a look at the RAM. So let's go into advanced, memory setup, set the auto boost. I'm gonna go to the XMP profile one and you can see it's showing the DRAM frequency here. And I don't think I'm gonna change anything else. I'm just gonna leave it on that XMP profile, but you can see there's a bunch of other settings here if you wanted to just, you know, go ahead and do a custom profile. Okay, 1.25 volts. All right, so let's just exit and save with the XMP profile one. All right, so you can see the speed is now 5,600 megahertz, which is what it is rated for after we enabled the XMP profile. And you can see we're getting the rated clocks as well, 36, 36, 36. So if you're interested in upgrading the RAM on your new Lenovo Tower, I can 100% confirm that the Corsair Dominator Platinum is compatible. So I'm gonna leave some links in the description down below to the exact kit that I use, and also a 64 gigabyte kit if you're interested in that. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.